Ryan here from Blue Hill Wildlife Nurseries. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to plant a tree. Obviously if you've been planting trees for a while, you know, you got your own methods that work for you. This is how I plant mine. Um, I got a hole here about two foot by two foot, 24 inches deep. I'm gonna, I know my pH in here is around 5.5, five, 5.7. Five, five, so I am gonna give it a little bit of lime. And this is just your basic way to plant a tree for wildlife, but a method that works for me. It's just some pelletized lime. Not much, you don't want to overdo it. Probably about two pounds there or so for that size, size dirt. This is a tree starter fertilizer. 0 20, 20 There's no nitrogen in this, but there's phosphorus and potassium, two very important nutrients for trees. Kind of like your seasoning your steak. Yeah, hold this size, two, three ounces is enough that I know this this soil is below optimal. And that amount right there is enough that's gonna put it almost in the ballpark, pretty close. You don't want to overdo it. Mix it in well. Now my soil here is about, I have about eight inches of topsoil and then it goes to uh, clay and shale. So I dug the hole a little, little deeper than normal just to get some of that good dirt mixed down in there. Uh, this tree is bare root. Everything we sell is bare root. Um, bare root needs to be planted while trees are still dormant in your area. Today is actually December 28th. I just got lucky and I had about two foot of snow and it, it melted and the ground hasn't frozen yet. So I pulled some of the cooler and decided to make a video. But many times in the south, you plant in the fall, north, you plant in the spring. But you want to plant while trees in your area are still dormant. You know, many times in Pennsylvania, you're talking, you know, last week of March, first week of April, depending on the weather, and, you know, so forth, it moves up across the country. Also, too, about dormant trees. Obviously, these are stored in wet sawdust. Trees are bare root for a very minimal amount of time.
comes to weed mats, you can get the breathable kind. You can get plastic kind. Very useful in areas you know you're going to be high and dry through the summer. Plastic can really help pull moisture in. You can also go as simple as just some newspaper. Down here where we're at, we're not at the top of the hill, it's not high and dry. You know, normally adequate moisture here, even in the middle of summer, it might get a touch dry, but this is still going to hold some moisture. I'm simply just going to use some newspaper. This is nothing more than 24 inch aluminum in the screen. If you're in a place that gets a lot more snow, you may want to use something taller than 24 inch. But for me, 24 inch is sufficient here. All I do is wrap it around. Bend it over, wrap it again, bend it, grease it good, go to the bottom, just fold it up enough so that it grabs some of the some of the stone to help hold it down in place. stone any any kind is fine any gravel whatever you want to use some shale from a shale pit if you have one whatever you got it's all gonna keep the voles away and suppress some weeds This is five foot welded wire fencing with two by four inch holes. This is cut to seven foot eight inches, which will give you about 13 out of a hundred foot roll. I just weave my stakes down through the fencing. And again, as you're planting trees, if you're in the north, you're in, you know, in the spring, as quick as you can dig in the soil is the best time to plant a dormant bare root tree.
Thanks for watching.